Good morning, crafty friends. It's Sue, your not so crafty crafter, and I am here with my Satmorn Makes. I believe this is episode seven for me. If you're not familiar, it is a collaboration created by Jill Norwood of Greenwood Girl Cards. And basically, it's a way for you to share your art from the heart, your artistic creations, whether it be jewelry making, scrapbooking, card making, journaling, sewing, whatever it is that has grabbed your crafty heart. Um, I'm a card maker, paper crafter, and whoa, sorry, I knocked my table. This morning, I'm going to share some cards that I made. Um, I have to make some more thank you cards because I'm running low. And um, I'm going to share what I used. It was very, very basic, very simple. Um, first off, I used these alcohol inks that you see here. It's a set of eight that I picked up on clearance last week at Hobby Lobby. I believe I have most of these colors, but for the price of these they're like usually like $6.99 a piece or $5.99 and I think the whole pack was like seven something and there is a an alloy in here as well I did not use the alloy in this pack but these are all the colors mojito citrus mermaid pistachio cobalt monsoon and glacier um I'm not sure if I use the mojito but I know I used the pistachio and the citrus and all the blues. So um, the next thing I used is this alcohol ink cardstock. Now this is similar to Yupo, but it's not Yupo. It's, um, it's a gloss finish coating designed to be used with alcohol inks and stamping inks like dyes, Ranger dye inks and archival inks. I buy this because it's less expensive. There are 20 sheets. It's only $5.99. You pull paper for 20 sheets is $9.99. So I buy that at my favorite crafting store. Um, then I used these three die cuts. I used one of each. This is a stylized tulips. These are all from Simon Says Stamp. This is Cottage Stems. And this one is Chinese Lantern. And I've used this one recently in another card. So... Um, I did make a note on this one. The stylized tulips must run through several times. I ran it through twice, and it was still not cutting all the way through this main thin center stem. So I just like to make notes to myself on things like this so that when I go to use them again, I know it won't be an issue. <clears throat> and what I came up with was these three cards. Um, I'll show you a blank alcohol ink. I made four of these using these colors the blues and the greens this one came out really pretty too um i did another one but it's this one i didn't put the blending solution down so it's just some giant green dots um and it's okay i'll figure something out i may die cut this out for something some flowers or leaves or something um this is the one i did use this one and then there were three others here, and I have made these all into cards. I have not put sentiments on them yet. I think I'm just going to leave them blank and write notes on the inside. But here's the tulip on top of the ink. Here's the lantern. Is it called a Chinese lantern? Yes, the Chinese lantern stem. I love that die. It's so pretty. And then this is the um, cottage stems, which has like a a lazy or a black eyed Susan or something there, and then some greenery. Very pretty. Thought about doing them in gold, but I just like the simplicity of the white because of the white background on the Yupo paper, and it's a nice bright white. So that's what I have for today. I'm gonna play around with some of the new paper. I just loaded a haul video. And I got some new paper from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to hang out up here in my craft room for a little while today and let the rest of the world melt away for a little while because it's been a stressful few weeks for me. Um, and I guess that's all I have for today. If you are enjoying nice weather, um, enjoy some for me. It's overcast. It's supposed to snow later this evening until late tonight. 
it's chilly, it's cold. It's been in the 50s and now it's back down in the 30s. So not loving it. Ready for spring. Don't forget to turn your clocks ahead tonight. Um, spring ahead. Daylight saving times if you if your area participates in that. Um, I'm going to go pour myself another cup of coffee and come back up here and play for a little bit. I hope everyone has a great weekend. See you soon. Bye.